Welcome back to Hungry for Adventure. On this adventure, we are, I am going to tell you the top 10 kid-friendly things to do in Vegas on a budget. I know that uh, Vegas is considered like a, a, an adult Disneyland or adult playground, but I just wanted to show you that there are still things that you can do with kids that are really fun and budget conscious. So most of these items that are on this list are gonna be um, less than $20 per person or even free. Come with us on this adventure. Number one on our list of things to do with kids on a budget is to go to a resort pool. We're here at the Golden Nugget and they're known for their pool with the tank. It's not as big of a pool as compared to some of the other resorts, maybe on the Strip, but there's, it's a really solid pool. Um, this one actually does allow pay per visit, so I think it's $30 for adults right now, and that way you don't have to be a guest to come and use the pool. The other pools on the Strip used to allow pay per visit, but right now, due to COVID, they're restricting guest access a little bit. So right now, you have to be either be a hotel guest, and I, or I can I believe, depending on the resort, you can purchase a cabana or like a day bed rental, and that will get you into the pool for the day. Um, but that tends to be a few hundred dollars versus you know the thirty dollars here. Or you could just be a guest there, and then you'll have free access. So some of the top pools um, in Vegas. In, for kids include Mandalay Bay. They have like the real sand beach and they have multiple pools across the, the property and they have a, like a nice lazy river. The MGM Grand also has a really great pool. Uh, it's very large and the lazy river is even longer. And then the Mirage has a nice big pool as well. That one has a lot of shaded areas. So that's nice to shade you from the hot Vegas sun. And of course, the one we're here at today, the Golden Nugget, also has a great pool and a slide. That's how I got to go on. Number two on our list is the aquarium at the Silverton Hotel and Casino. This place doesn't have a huge aquarium, but it's free and there's mermaid sightings. So they swim, mermaids show up on Thursdays through Sundays. Uh, you can check online for hours, but there's uh, different time periods where they come out and swim. And so it's a cool place to bring your kids and it's free. It's a smiley face. <laughs> wow. I did see that they have interactive uh, stingray feedings as well. So if you uh, check the website, you can see the schedule and come for that as well. I know Kayla loved the mermaid and the fishies, didn't you? Huh? You did, didn't you? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely worth a, uh, worth a visit. It's south of the Strip, um, but it's, uh, it's a very outdoorsy theme. There's a Bass Pro Shop right next to it. It's like huge. And um, yeah, there's actually a mermaid lounge for the adults. I think it's a 21 and over, but that one, you can actually watch the mermaids as you like hang out and have a drink or two. At number three, we have some free shows on the Strip. Some of the free shows include the Mirage Volcano Show, the Treasure, Treasure Island Show, I don't know if it's back yet, 
but then there's also the Bellagio fountain show and the fountains go on like and they're so beautiful and they like are choreographed to the water uh, to the music and then inside the Bellagio they have the conservatory and the conservatory has like a seasonal array of flowers and decorations and they're like themed so sometimes they have like Lunar New Year themes or like even like Hello Kitty theme before so it's a really pretty place and so colorful kids will love it kids will love to look at it for the Bellagio Fountains, the show times basically are every 30 minutes on weekdays from 3 to midnight. And then on Saturdays and Sundays and holidays, it's every 30 minutes from noon to 8 p.m. And then every 15 minutes from 8 p.m. to midnight. So it's really easy to catch that while you're walking the strip even. And then the Mirage uh, Volcano Show is at 8, 9, 10, and 11 p.m. every night. On the, do on the hour so you can always catch that while you're just kind of walking along the strip strip as well it's all of it is a uh, very great for kids I think it's you know visually appealing and there's you know music and so much stuff that the kids will enjoy so hope you come check this one out at number three at number four we have the circus circus adventure dome and midway and the Adventure Dome is an indoor theme park out in Vegas because, you know, it's hot all the time. So they have, I think, over 20 rides you can ride. And I think you have to get a wristband. And the wristbands are $40 for adults and $20 for junior. But if you're over 48 inches, you have to get an adult wristband. So that's just something to keep in mind. Entry itself is free. And there's a midway here, so there's like arcade games as well as like carnival type games where you could win prizes. So it's a really fun way to spend your day with your kids. Since the last time I've been here, they've definitely added a lot more new rides. There's like another new roller coaster and there's rides for all ages. So there's like, you know, scary rides for adults, thrill rides, and then there's still like kitty rides as well. And then, like I said, the Midway games are now in the Adventure Dome. They used to be separate and outside. So you can get killed two birds with one stone. Free parking is always a plus as well. And of course, here at Circuit Circus, you get free parking. Number five on our list is New York, New York. They also have a pretty cool arcade and they have the Big Apple Coaster, which is, you have to pay to ride it. I think it's $19 for most days, and then Friday and Saturday night, it is $23, I believe. Um, you can buy your tickets beforehand, or you can buy it at the booth behind me, and it's a pretty good time for kids. Also, New York, New York is also home to the Hershey Chocolate Restaurant, so that's a good place for uh, you know kids to get their chocolates and sweets. Unfortunately, you do have to pay for parking if it's over 60 minutes, but at least the entry to the arcade is free, so you could have yourself a relatively cheap good time here. The great thing about New York, New York also is that after you're done having your fun, you could go and eat at the New York themed eateries down there. Uh, there's Shake Shack and as I mentioned, the Hershey's, and there's also like New York style pizza places, some steak houses that are also in New York. So you can have a real true New York experience. Across the street from New York, New York is our next item, which is item number six, which is m and store and the Coca-Cola store. They're both across the street from the New York, New York hotel. So if you're already parking there, then you can just cross the strip and it's right there. Otherwise you have to pay for parking, which is $12 for two hours. So just keep that in mind. Both of them have some merch and stuff like that. So. It's a really fun place to bring your kids and just uh, have fun. So the M&M store has a bunch of cool things. They even have like an M&M theater, they have, which like shows some sort of show. And then they have really cool merch, like clothes obviously for the whole family. And they also have baking merch, home merch, dispensers and things like that. They have a whole array of M&Ms that you can uh, custom dispense into your own bags and just pay by weight and then they also have a personalization station where you could personalize the M&Ms and take those home. 
So compared to the uh, M&M store, it seems a little bit smaller, I want to say. Uh, but it's, the Coca-Cola store still has pretty cool stuff. The first floor has like the apparel, they had a lot of gifts and all the polar bear merch, which is what I'm all about. I love the polar bear merch. And then the second floor has the soda fountain, uh, bar, I guess, and the home merch. And so they have all this cool stuff for your house. I actually have like a, a bottle opener <laughs> at home and it's a little Coke bottle. But um, yeah, the soda, the soda fountain bar is pretty cool. You can get different uh, soda drinks. They have like floats and they have like specials. Like I guess this month's special is like a strawberry lemonade that they make with like Simply Lemonade and then uh, their Sprite, which is a Coke product. And then you can always get the international flight, tasting flight, which is really cool. You get different um, Coke product flavors from all over the world and they give it to you in little sample cups. I think you can get a sample of eight or 12 or something like that. And uh, we tried it in Orlando before at the Coke store there and it was, it was a really fun time. There were some flavors that were like not that great, but then most of the flavors were like really cool and interesting. This showcase area also has other stores like Marshalls and um, I think Ross, like right in the same area. So it's a, definitely a great place to check out and come shopping with your kids. Um, the M&M store and the Coca-Cola store just make it a little bit extra fun for your kids. Number seven on our list is the Discovery Children's Museum. It is in downtown Las Vegas, um, near Fremont Street kind of and uh, it's an interactive museum for kids. Um, she might be too young to enjoy it for now, but uh, she's free because under age one is free. For Nevada residents, there's a discount, but general admission is $14.50. Um, I would take the time to look at Groupon because we got our tickets for a little bit cheaper at $11.50. So just a pro tip. But it's an interactive museum. There's a lot of uh, things to do on the different stories. So we're in front of the pirate ship, I think. And we're gonna go explore. So there's a ton to do here. Obviously behind me, there's that ginormous structure. It's a 70 foot tower. And it's like 2,200 square feet of just activities from like ropes to slides and they have little stations, like there's like a music station and there's like, I think a total of 12 levels. And that's like, I think the most interactive fun thing, like physically fun thing for kids. Um, Kayla's obviously too small, but I can't wait to bring her back. And then on the, the first floor, there's also the water world where you, you can like play with water and there's different, like you can observe how the water like moves. And then there's Toddler Town, and it's like a egg, like it's for little kids to like play with, like and ex experience the desert theme. And then there's a Fantasy Festival, which is like um, a, a ship and a castle and a theater, and you can like interact with all of that. On the second floor, there's the Eco City, which is like sponsored by different sponsors. Um, there's like Subaru, for example, in the Las Vegas airport, McCarran Airport, and Smith's, which is a local grocery store. And so, like, kids can like learn how to, I guess, live a daily life in an eco-friendly city. And then there's also the Discovery Lab on the second floor, which is cool because you can like, there's like 3D printing and laser cutting labs that you can attend. Uh, you, you have to check the online calendar for that. And then on the third floor, there's a Young at Art exhibit, which is, it features like all the um, different like art type things. I think there was like a, a Toy Story themed art uh, class today. And then there's also a patent pending. So it's, it's like inventions and things like that, that you can like learn like physics and stuff. And then there's a solve it area, which is like, you get this mystery and then you use science and different like the, 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 their different labs to solve a mystery. So it's very cool, very interactive and I can't wait to bring Kayla when she's a little bit older. Not too far from the children's 
uh, Discovery Children's Museum, we have number eight, which is Container Park. In downtown uh, Las Vegas, it's actually down the street from the Fremont Experience. So if you're in that area, you could quickly stop by here too. And it's cool because like the buildings are all like little containers. But what's really cool is that not just the vendors, but there's a little park in the middle of it. And there's like ginormous slides in the, that look like tree houses. And it's actually shaded with misters. So it's good for the, even in the summer heat. And yeah, so they have a ton of food. They have different, um, like from Mexican food to pizza and hot dogs and desserts like gelato and boba and smoothies and things like that, as well as little shops. And then they also host special events such as yoga or country music night, or um, there's even like a magic show. And it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really nice community place that you can go to. Also on weekends, on Fridays and Saturday nights, it's uh, after 9 p.m. It's 21 up only. And lastly, there's the giant mantis that has giant fire flames. The flames are like the six stories high and it like speaks different languages and it's very interactive. And the, but the mantis is only active on Thursdays through Sundays after sunset. So all in all, a pretty quirky, cool place to go. Visit. And this was number eight. Moving on to number nine. At number nine, we have the Rainforest Cafe. It is a themed restaurant. It is kind of like rainforest jungle themed. It's pretty cool. Um, I've never actually been, so I'm extremely excited. But it's actually located right near um, Planet Hollywood, right off the strip. Um, and I'm so excited. Kyle was talking about some lava cake or like... Yeah, yeah. the sparkling lava cake. Yeah, so it's exciting. I, it's, it's really cool. Apparently there's like animatronics and stuff too. Let's go take a look. Explain what's going on right now. Apparently, we're in a storm inside the rainforest. I'm amazed. <laughs> this is this is so cool. And the rain has subsided. <laughs> it's like a simulated like rainstorm. Yeah. And the animals were just like moving. That's really cool. I did not know it did that. So it's not exactly the cheapest place to eat, but for a, it's a, I feel like it's an experience and therefore it kind of justifies the price tag. The kids menu is like around 10 bucks, but the adult food is usually more expensive. But you know, I think it's worth the price of admin, admission. So we, that's why we included it on this list. Last but not least, Number 10, we have the Link Promenade. This is a pretty cool uh, place for you to come with your family. There's a lot of family-friendly foods, such as hot doggery, which has hot dogs. There's a pizza place. There's Gordon Ramsay's fish and chips. There's In-N-Out, if, if your kids only just like burgers. And uh, there's a cool candy shop behind me called I Love Sugar, and they have a giant uh, gummy bear chandelier. So it's a pretty cool place to check out. Uh, it is a little hot, so during the summer months, probably come here maybe later in the day. Um, yeah, I highly recommend this. This is a really good place to hang out. I actually just found out today that they have a museum selfies. So if you're interested in taking a bunch of Instagrammable selfies, there's a, there's a place to do that. It's $30 for adults and $25 for kids ages 3 to 12, and free obviously for babies. Um, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but I mean, hey, if you're here and you want to do it, it's available here. There's also a pretty cool bowling alley here. It's called Brooklyn Bowl, and they actually have bowling and they also have live music. So you can always check that out. Um, the live music probably isn't necessarily for the younger kids, but you know, you could always take them bowling. Okay, behind me, there's the Link High Roller, and that is an observation wheel, not a Ferris wheel 
but it's about a 30 minute ride and you could get a beautiful view of Las Vegas, especially at night. Um, it is about $30, $35 for adults and $18 for kids is aged four to 12. Uh, again, it's about a 30 minute ride, so if your kids are a little restless, maybe skip that. And it is a little bit pricier, but it's just a bonus. You can just hang out here without going on that. They also have the Flylink zip line, and it goes all the way across the uh, Link Promenade. It is only opens, I believe, on weekends, or I think Thursday through Mondays or so, and it's about $30 per person. But if you're super adventurous, a real adventurer, you could try that out too. There's actually plenty of restaurants that are open out onto the promenade with outdoor seating. And it's actually kind of nice so because there's misters that help keep you cool during the day and night in Vegas. <laughs> but that way you can kind of sit, eat, enjoy the ambiance. There's plenty of things to do. There's sweets, there's fast food, there's sit down. There's a bunch of stuff, activities. So I think this is definitely number 10, but not the last place that you should visit. It definitely should be up there on your top of your list. And that's a wrap on our top 10 kid-friendly things to do on a budget. Again, this list is not in order, in any particular order, but we just want to give you a guide to help have a good time even with kids in Vegas. If Comment below if there's any activities that you think we missed that maybe we should try next time. And uh, give us a like if you like the video and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. Thank you for coming, us, coming on this adventure.